Hi guys, we're back with episode 3 of Harder Core. Let's play Kerbal Space Program. Um, I did a mod change. I took out that mission controller mod that was giving the, uh, giving the collect science from a particular biome, uh, contracts because I think it was uh, it was too easy to get money I think it was kind of unbalancing the uh, unbalancing what I'm what I'm looking for and uh, what made me realize that is uh, I was looking to build a a rocket here just a little just a little nothing well not really a nothing but uh, to send up and do the first actual real rocket mission now that I've got uh, now that I have uh, parachutes and I got to looking at it and it cost 60 some hundred to uh, build it and I thought well if I crash it no big deal I got 4800 and I don't want to be I don't want to be uh, thinking no big deal if I crash certainly not at this point so uh, I want to, I want to have that uh, that constantly hanging over me that I am one screw up away from disaster so um, what I'm doing is just building a a little uh, rocket here that is gonna go up and do some simple science from atmosphere that's about all I can actually do right now it's not really gonna it's not gonna fulfill a contract it's not gonna gain me anything but just a little bit of science but what it is going to do, since it'll be an actual launch, is uh, it will open up the part test contracts, which you actually have to launch. I actually have an actual launched rocket to uh, to do that. And now that I can recover one, I can uh, I can do so without wasting the money. Okay, now. Um, this probe core does not have any reaction wheels in it. It is a totally a dumb probe. I, I can shoot it and I have absolutely no control over it. So, um, turn down this a bit. The, uh, the only way I have to control this thing, to keep it from veering out of control, is to... Well, presumably I could stick some of these little things on there, but I think this is neater. Is I'm going to take a, stick a pair of separatrons on them at a very slight angle. And what these are going to do is impart a rotation to the rocket. And that will provide the stability. So there he is. Just a simple little rocket. It's just going to go up, do a couple science experiments, and splash down or land down or wherever it should happen to end up. The build vessel. All right. So this guy is going to take all of five days. So we'll run him up. It's not uh, not so much money I need right now. I need the science so that I can uh, unlock more of that tech tree, so I can uh, get to uh, get to some more advanced stuff. We'll roll him out. Warp to complete right in the morning. Beautiful. Okay, and we will launch. Which is going to be our first actual real launch now that wasn't just sitting on the test test stand doing a part test. But that's something I'm going to head right back to as soon as I start getting part tests. Okay, let me set the parachute for, let's say, about 12,000, I think. 700's good there. Not sure if we'll even make it up to 12,000. And off we go. 
Make sure everything's staged properly. Yeah, looks good. And there's that spin. Just on the very least amount of thrust there. And that thing's it's starting to veer off now, but nothing like uh, nothing like veering out of control. It's it's uh, kind of coming up in a bit of a spiral, but it's not veering over. Volumetric clouds from the uh, environmental enhancement envir environmental visual enhancement mod. Let's do these. Um, I suppose we can transmit it. We've got plenty of juice. I wonder if there's enough to do anymore. I can't even get them. Ha! No. Let's see. Let's deploy the chute. And I believe it will trigger when we start going back down. And once we pass that... Uh, there we go, right where we passed that uh, altitude we stuck in there for that. I wonder if it's going slow enough I can maybe do another something. Probe situation report, 0.5 science. Yeah, let's do that. We're almost out of juice. Pressure. Oh, that's quite a bit. Temperature, can we transmit? How much do we have? I don't think we have that much, but let's give it a shot. No. We got 0.3 of it. Oh, and we're completely out of, out of juice, so I can't, uh, I can't do any more. All right, and we're going to come down basically to the north, to the north, to the uh, inland of the uh, space center there. I suppose we can speed that up. And there's the chute opening nice and gently, and that's the uh, real chute mod does that, so it opens up gently, and it also allowed that configuration I did earlier so that the chute doesn't just uh, go bang from nothing to fully deployed in you know a microsecond and if you notice the g-force marker went uh, didn't go spraying through the roof either it, it, it was much more gentle all right and we're going at 3.6 meters per second so we should not have any damage Completely out of gas, or gas, completely out of battery power. Seventeen and a half, and we'll get a smidge back when we recover it. Another point five, yeah, so we're up to seventeen, which is not enough to unlock anything else. Stability. Now that's going to be our first real um, probe cores here that can actually maneuver and have the whole thing. It's also got some more science pieces. This is more space plane parts. Oh, an actual inline reduction wheel. React reduction reaction wheel. And the fairings. The fairing base, but not the not the parts of the fairing, I guess. Oh, there they are. Ooh, I wonder why those are in both places. Oh, that's the 1.25. These must be uh, the 0.625s. A bunch of nice other parts. Small rocket, but a little bit bigger. There's our 909 and our uh, RT-10 right here. I can't bring any of those up. Now we should get these. Yes, now we have the um, 
part tests. Let's see. Ooh, that's probably our best bet. 145 and 8 science. 102 and 8 science. That will last a day. That will also only last a day. I can get two of these, can't I? I can get two of these. Used to having only one free. So we've got the solid fuel booster landed and the radial decoupler landed. TT70. Let's see what we can do with that. <laughs> it's kind of big. But we can put this guy on here. Oh my goodness. And that's just your standard RT10, so everything else we've been working with is just tiny. That's kind of neat. Um, how about this guy? There. Not too bad. And then we'll stick a pair of these on here because we got to always bear in mind our balance. Um, hmm. Look at that thrust to weight ratio 34 maximum. We'll knock him down to about 2. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any... Oh, I wonder if that's enough parachute. Ah, it should be. Oh, we've already got that on here. That's up here, right? Yeah, okay. Let's put one of these here. One there, and one there. That's nice. And I'll do a pair of these again, just for balance. And we'll put a pair of batteries on here. Thrust to weight ratio looks good. Oh, and we need to put some separatrons on here to spin it. There we go. And put the thrust limiter all the way down. And hopefully we can do that again and get 16 science out of it. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Still got a bit of a cold. Save that. Save as untitled. I wonder if I can. I don't know. All right, so this will take 11 days to build this guy. Um, build, warp to complete. Oh, that's just the launch pad reconditioning. Jeez. All right. Evening launch. I don't know if I uh, care if that launches in the evening or not. I can't control it. Oh, look, the sun's going down. Cool. All right, here we go. Those were those two decouplers got shot off there. Spinning very nice and slowly. Oh, he's starting to veer over. Oh boy, this is not good. Those were not enough to keep him going. 
Hopefully the fuel runs out before he crashes. Wonder if I dare pop the chute right now or if it'll be a problem. There's way too much gas left. see how bad that does. So now what I wonder if he's gonna pull it up right and he's gonna shoot right up through the chute there. Holy cow. Um run out of gas please holy moly Holy cow, what a... <sighs> yeah, well, well, <laughs> survived, but uh, yeah, that wasn't, uh, wasn't exactly the... I need to come up with some way to make these things a little more secure. What is that over there? Oh, it's some kind of words, and it's when I got this. Discard. Oh, it's the tooltip. from these for whatever reason is showing up over in the sky over there well all right we get some we got 34 science I wonder if there's any other science we can get out of here point two yeah point oh five that's worth it and Point oh six transmit. And I've got enough uh, battery power left that we can still do more experiments once we land. Uh oh, five meters per second. Is that too fast? No, it isn't. We can do a probe situation report. We'll keep that. Well, I didn't mean to actually do that, but log pressure, we'll keep that. Okay. Recover. Point nine science earned plus the thirty-six. We're up to thirty-six. Well that was a, a disaster that didn't quite happen. These are 45s, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this and this will require this. So I wonder, do I keep trying to get one of these? I probably should try to get this guy here before backfilling. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get anybody oh, else man. going on here. Um in flight that's a good a bit of money but it's don't know if I can get that parachute launch stability system 60 money for that no point in really doing that I can do this one mm -hmm. radial decoupler and just get the eight science liquid fuel engine in flight. I don't even have a uh, I don't even have a uh, fuel tank for this guy yet. I just get that little bitty Oscar. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, so take these off, take this off. Actually, let's just take this whole thing off. Radial decoupler. Hmm. So I'll just, whoops, do this same little rocket like I did before. But we'll add, oh, the other radial decoupler's on there. Prepare those. 
Um, I don't know if there's any point in trying... Oh, I got a little stack decoupler. I totally didn't realize I had that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But I don't think I have to worry about that just yet. Oh, we've already got that on there. Durr, durr. All right, we're going to put on our... Um, whatever here Why don't you maybe put that force up just a smidge higher and that'll just do those well I don't even actually have to launch this thing I can do that from the test stand no sense risking that really so we'll just use this from the test stand there we don't need an engine on there either. In fact, we don't even need... We'll do this. That's the test stand that we're using. We just have that there. And I am going to add a couple batteries. Don't really need batteries because this uh, this guy here actually provides some 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 power. But I'll stick them on there. And I believe we did not use this uh, this particular science experiment last time. So we that's all that guy's got to be. Test stand save launch. Simulate, not simulate, build. All right. What that simulate does is allows you to uh, bypass the whole build queue and just test it instantly there, but none of the results are saved, so anything that you gain or lose are not kept. And I did that quite a bit in my previous playthrough, but it actually, in hindsight, it uh, let me actually be too... Uh, a lot better than I would have otherwise because all of the times that I screwed up was the ones that I simulated until I got my rockets working properly so so uh, I didn't really have to pay the price for my screw ups quite as much as I did so I'm definitely not using that in this playthrough so VAB and roll him out and probably we'll be able to launch something into space here within the next uh, I don't know how many episodes definitely gonna be a, a slow moving series here and so Okay, so we're able now to log that magnetometer data. Transmit. Oh, we didn't <laughs> I didn't put an antenna on it, so we're just going to have to just going to have to keep it here. But we can pop this guy. Let's see where he goes. Oh. Yeah, see how that just kicked up a big pile of dust rather than make an explosion? That's part of that, uh, where I was using that BAM mod to decrease the explosions. Alright, so that's a grand total of eight we got out of there. Alright, 44. <laughs> One away. One away from getting... Let's see. That's up quite a bit of money. I don't think I can get up there. Small gear bay, money. Smaller gear bay, less money. Decoupler. Orbiting. So I don't have any actually that gain me any science that I can actually do. I don't think I can get that high. Well, I might be able to get that high with a multi stage.
coup. Well, what I could do, I guess, is just kill some of these and uh, mm -hmm. see if they'll get replaced. I don't really want to do that, though. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, I'm over time anyway, so. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can figure out what I want to do with this. 44.9. Surely we can come up with 0.1 science out of something. Let me put an antenna on this guy. trying to do here. Well, we only want one antenna there. Get point one and then I can grab one of those other science things. That's the whole goal of this. Just a day or so. Oh, you know what? I can't do that because I have an ineligible part on it right here there we go and we've already done all the other ones so save the edit All right, warp to complete. Roll out. Transmit. And there's our 50 or 45 science. All right. So that was fun. All right. Okay, now here we go. I think this is the one we want because that gives us this seismic accelerometer. Uh, communitron. Uh, these two are the uh, antennas that I'm going to be using on my satellites. The Mystery Goo, a decent battery, some probe cores, and an exocurbal core drill, which is apparently from one of these other mods. 15,000 entry purchase. Yowza. So we're getting close. We're getting close to the command pod now. We have to get 90 more um, science, and then we're going to start manned missions here. Okay, well, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.